I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting questions. So here are today two questions from our subscribers. Let us see how to solve them. We need to evaluate 2 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6 and we also have to evaluate 7 minus 11 over 12 minus 1 5 over 12. Now these fractions involve uh, mixed numbers and let us see how to work with mixed numbers. So let's do the first one which is 2 1 over 3. So 2 1 over 3 is a mixed number. We could rewrite this as 2 times 3 plus 1 and that is what we are going to do in the next step, right? The other numbers here are uh, 1 over 4, 1 over 5 and 1 over 6. So first step should be to write the mixed number as an improper fraction. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, 7. So 2 over 3 will be written as 7 over 3, right? Minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6. Next step is to take the common denominator. Now in this case, we have denominators as 3, 4, 5 and 6. The lowest common denominator for all these numbers is what? That could be challenging at times. Easy way is to use this ladder division method. So let me show you that on the right side of the page. So we have these numbers as 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we could divide by 3, at least 2 of them, 3 and 6. So that goes 1 times. If you cannot divide, then just write the numbers as such. 3 goes 2 times in 6 and 1 times in 3. Now, we can further divide by 2 since 4 and 2 have common factor of 2. So that's the whole idea of factoring out the common factors. If you cannot divide, then just write the number itself. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 5 cannot be divided. So just write it like it, like 5, right? 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now whatever you get, multiplying them will give you the lowest common denominator. In this case, it is 2 times, 3 times, 2 times, 2 times, 5, correct? So 3 times 2 is 6. This is 10. So that gives you 60 as your common denominator, right? So we'll write here 60 as common denominator. That is to say, I have to write equivalent fractions with 60 as my common denominator. How will I do it for 7 over 3? I have to multiply this by 20, right? So 20 times 7 will give me 140. 2 times 7, 14 and then 1, 0. You get the idea. So what I did here was to make it 60, I had to multiply this by 20 and also the denominator by 20. So I got 140. Perfect. You could also get these factors from here. For example, now 40, I got to make this as 60. So 40 is what? 40 is 2 times 2, right? So we are left with 5 times 3, 15. So we'll write that number 15, right? We'll multiply both by 15 to get our result. Do you see that? Easy, right? Now, to get 5, the numbers are, leave the 5 out and then 4 times 3, 12. Do you see? Multiplying these. And when you're talking about 6, in that case, what you notice is 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 times 10 is 60. So you'll add 10 here, right? So that means you multiply this both by 10 to get 10 in the numerator, 60 in the denominator. So now, all these have been written as equal in fractions with denominator of 60. Perfect. So this is a very critical step. Now, it is question of simple addition and subtraction. Right. So, so we could now write this as 140 minus 15. You could do it from left to right when you work with it. So you could do 140 minus 15. So you can do it on the side if it's so difficult. 140 minus 15 will be what? So when you borrow, this becomes 10. That becomes 3. Taking away 3, 1 from 3 gives you 2. And 125 you get here, right? 
Now from 125, we have to add 12 and 10, right? So we have 125 plus 12 and plus 10, okay? So that gives you what? So 125 and 10 is 135 and then 135 plus 12, can do like this right 10 plus 12 add these numbers 7 4 1 so we get 147 over 60 as our answer now since we were given numbers in the mixed number it is a good idea to write the answer also as a mixed number so we will now convert this into a mixed number right so dividing by 60 now 60 uh, will go how many times 6 times 2 is 12 so we can try this 2 times so that is 120 right so we get 7 and here we get 2 so we get 27 right as the remainder so we could write this as 2 holes and 27 over 60 now 27 over 60, both, let me write first. Now, you will notice that we can actually reduce it further. 27 and 60 both have a common factor of 3, right? So, we could have done here also, but I didn't notice that time. Okay, now, we could write this as 2. Dividing by 3... I get 3 times 9 as 27 and 20. Do you see that? So that is how we could do it. Now I could have reduced 147 over 60 and then done the division. So I'll advise you to simplify here and then get the answer. Perfect. So I hope these steps are okay. So this, there is some complication of course in this kind of a question but these are more or less the steps which you could follow now let's look into the second example which involves a whole number 7 and the others are with denominator of 12 so we have 7 minus 11 over 12 minus 1 whole 5 over 12 so the first step will be to write this as a mixed uh, to write this as a mixed number as uh, improper fraction. So 12 plus 5 is 17. So I'll write 17 over 12. Now some of you can also treat 7 as 7 over 1. Now in this case the common denominator is clearly 12, right? So we will use 12 as a common denominator. We need to now multiply 7 by 12. 7 times 2 is 14 and then 1 84 minus 11 minus 17, correct? So that is what you get for the given fraction. So that gives you 12 in the denominator. Taking away 11 from 84 gives us 73 minus 17. And now you can take away 17 to write the answer. From 13, take away 7 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. So you get 56 over 12. Now these numbers could be divided, right? You could simplify them. You could divide them both by 2. So we did not reduce this earlier, but now we will reduce this one, correct? Okay, so dividing them by 2, what do we get? We get 20, then it is 16, 28 over 6, both divided by 2. Now again, we have improper fractions, so we can actually divide 28 by 6 and write it as a mixed number. 6 times 4, right, we could divide by 2 also, I should have done it, I should do it, right, so let me just divide it further, right, so we get 14 over 3, and 14 over 3 will now be written as 3 times 4 is 12, right, 3 times 4 is 12, we are left with 2, so 2 over 3 will be our answer, is that clear to you? So that is how we could actually solve this question. I hope the steps are clear. So as you have seen here, at times we may miss out on simplifying the fraction earlier, but at the end, when you write down the answer, it should be written in the simplified form. Now this simplification can be done at any stage, right? 
earlier you do, better it is, since you're working with smaller numbers. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.